Namaste all, I am Rega. Welcome to my channel Rega's Knowledge Hub. Today we will see NCRT Class 6 Max Chapter 1 Patterns in Mathematics Part 2 Visualizing Number Sequences Many number sequences can be visualized using pictures. Visualizing mathematical objects through pictures or diagrams can be a very fruitful way to understand mathematical patterns and concepts. So, if you are using pictures, we can easily understand mathematical patterns and concepts. Let us represent the first seven sequences in table 1 using the following pictures. We have already seen some number sequences. We can represent those sequences using pictures. This is the pictorial representation of some number sequences. These number sequences we have already seen and its pictorial representation is shown here. See all ones, how it is represented? One dot each, one, 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 one. So all ones. Next one is counting numbers. Counting numbers, one, two, three, four, five. So for each one, one dot. So here one dot, then for two, two dots. For three, use three dots. For four, use four dots. Then five, using five dots. Five represented using five dots. Then next one is odd numbers. Odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. That is numbers ending with digits 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. They are odd numbers. So 1 represented using a single dot. Then 3 using 3 dots. 5 using 5 dots likewise. Then even numbers. Even numbers means numbers ending with the digit 0. 2, 4, 6, 8. Then here 2 represented using 2 dots. 4 using 4 dots. So 10 using 10 dots. Likewise, they are even numbers. Next we have triangular numbers. Triangular numbers are those numbers that can be represented in the shape of an equilateral triangle. See, all the three sides are equal. See the triangles, all the three sides are equal. So, these numbers are represented using equilateral triangles. See, 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. They are triangular numbers. Then, squares. Squares means all four sides are equal. So, here 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. They are squares. Then, cube. Cube is a three-dimensional picture. Common example is a dice. There's three dimensions, length, breadth and height. So, the numbers 1, 8, 27, 64, 125 represented using cubes. Figure it out. Copy the pictorial representations of the number sequences in table 2 in your notebook and draw the next picture for each sequence. We will do. So, this is the sequence, pictorial representation of the number sequences. Okay, we have to find the next picture for each sequence. See, in the first case, all ones. So, what will be the next picture? Again, one single dot. Okay, the next we have counting numbers. Counting numbers means natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The next number will be 6. Okay. So, plus 1. So, 6. So, we have 6 dots. Next, odd numbers. Odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. What will be the next number? 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. So, 11 dots. The next one, even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. What's the next number? You add plus 2. 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. 
So, this is the pictorial representation. Next sequence is triangular numbers. Triangular numbers are numbers that can be represented in the shape of an equilateral triangle. See we have triangular numbers as 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. So what is the next number? The next number in the sequence is 21. These things we had already learned. So children please go through the previous videos. So 21. This is the triangular number 21 represented using an equilateral triangle. The next is squares. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. What will be the next number? 1 square is 1, 2 square 4, 3 square 9, 4 square 16, 5 square 25. Then 6 square is 36. So next number is 36. Next we have cubes. 1, 8, 27, 64, 125. What will be the next number? See 1 into 1 into 1, 1. 2 into 2 into 2, 8. 3 into 3 into 3, 27. 4 into 4 into 4, 64. 5 into 5 into 5, 125. Then 6 into 6 into 6, 216. This is the cube. Why are 1, 3, 6, 10, 15 called triangular numbers? Why are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 called square numbers or squares? Why are 1, 8, 27, 64, 125 called the cubes? 1, 3, 6, 10, 15 are called triangular numbers because they can be visually represented as equilateral triangles. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 are called squares because they are the result of multiplying a number by itself. See, 1 into 1, 1, 2 into 2, 4, 3 into 3, 9. So, they are the result of multiplying a number by itself. 1, 8, 27, 64, 125, they are called cubes because they are the result of multiplying a number by itself 3 times. 1 into 1 into 1 is equal to 1. 2 into 2 into 2, 8. 3 into 3 into 3, 27. Okay. You will have noticed that 36 is both a triangular number and a square number. 36 is both a triangular number and a square number. That is 36 dots can be arranged perfectly both in a triangle and in a square. We can arrange 36 dots perfectly in both a triangle and in a square. So make pictures in your notebook illustrating this. This shows that the same number can be represented differently. Same number, see 36, can be represented as a square, it can be represented as a triangular number and play different roles depending on the context. Try representing some other numbers pictorially in different ways. See, here number 36 is represented as a triangular number in the first figure and it is represented as a square in the second figure. See, triangular and a square. Triangular 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 equal to 36. Then square 6 into 6, 36. See here. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 is equal to 36. And it is represented as a triangle. Then 6 by 6, 6 into 6 as a square. What would you call the following sequence of numbers? You have 1, 7, 19, 37. These numbers are called hexagonal numbers. What is a hexagon? A hexagon is a shape with six sides. See here each side has two dots in this hexagon. And the next hexagon there are three dots. Then next one you have four dots. 
So, what is the next number in the sequence? There will be 5 dots in each side. We will check. See, this hexagon has 5 dots in each side. So, total there are 61 dots. So, the next number in the hexagonal sequence is 61. So, you have 1, 7, 19, 37. The next one is 61. Can you think of pictorial ways to visualize a sequence of powers of 2, powers of 3? Here is one possible way of thinking about powers of 2. See, in powers of 2, we have numbers 1, then 1 into 2 equal to 2, then 2 into 2 equal to 4, 4 into 2 equal to 8, 8 into 2 equal to 16, 16 into 2 equal to 32, like that. So, how can we visualize it? See, 1, only 1 dot, it is black dot here. Then, next step. 1 into 2 is equal to 2. So, 1 black dot and 1 blue dot. So, 1 into 2 equal to 2. The next one, 2 into 2 is equal to 4. So, 2 black dots and 2 blue dots can be used to visualize the number 4. The next, 4 into 2 is equal to 8. We can use 4 black dots and 4 blue dots to represent 8. The next one, 8 into 2 is equal to 16. We can use 8 black dots and 8 blue dots. So, this is one possible way of thinking about powers of 2. Children, thank you very much. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. We will see you in the next video. Children, I am posting videos of NCRT, Classics, Max, Science, Social and English in this channel so please visit Rekha's Knowledge Hub.